saddle up because we're headed on a trip to the Wild West. Today on Made for the Outdoors, we see how a new school company is making an old school classic. The Magnum Research BFR Revolver. When you think revolver, you probably think of cowboys in old western films. Invented in the early 1800s, the gun allowed for westward expansion in America, aiding in the protection of pioneers and becoming an important tool for the military. Today, the revolver is used for hunting and recreation, and thanks to one company in Pillager, Minnesota, it's bigger and finer than ever. The days of cowboys and saloon standoffs is long gone, but the revolver is still around and it's bigger and finer than ever. Here at Magnum Research, they've designed a modern yet classic design of the gun they like to call the BFR. I'm Alexa Score and we're about to head inside and see how the BFR revolver is made for the outdoors. We've been around since the early 80s. We started off as a manufacturer of the Desert Eagle pistol. Over the years, we've gained other product lines. We added the BFR. Biggest, finest revolver. Joby and his team have worked for the past 18 years to make one of the finest revolvers in the industry. The general design really hasn't changed a whole lot. The materials that the gun is made of has changed. They've really upgraded and developed the materials that the gun is made of, so it's come along that way. And it's allowed us to do the bigger, heavier calibers that you wouldn't have normally seen back in the early days of the revolver. According to Joby, the man behind the BFR design is gun aficionado Jim Turteen. Jim Turteen, he'll forget more gun knowledge than I'll ever know in my life. Any gun you can ask him about and he can tell you how it works. Sixth grade, that's all I've ever done. I came home uh, from school one day, I remember that vividly, and I told my mother that I wanted to be a gunsmith when I grew up. I went to college, received a degree in gunsmithing, and that's all I've ever done. I've never had another job. In 1999, there was a guy in uh, South Dakota, and he started with the original concept of a large caliber single action revolver. But he never could get it right, and he never could get any volume. Through frustration, I just redesigned the gun. Brett Pakula and I started building BFRs completely redesigned, completely new, using the proper steels. And then we sold them exclusively to Magnum Research, and they marketed them under the BFR name. We called it Brainerd's first revolver because that's where we started. They called it Biggest Finest Revolver. So that's what it is today. When it was first invented, the revolver was revolutionary for its design. And although the BFR still has old school charm, its upgraded accuracy and power allow it to be used for hunting and other recreation. It can be used for anything you're interested in. You know, you can go down to planking rounds or hunting calibers. I personally like to carry my 3030 Winchester out whitetail hunting here in Minnesota. I shot a deer several years ago with a um, six inch BFR in chambered in 500 GRH, running full bore straight away from me. Boom! Went down like a rock. New for this year, customers can even design their own BFR. Now it's time for me to create my own. We built it for our customers that are looking to take a step up from a standard production revolver. It's been a common request for us for, since the beginning of the BFR. And what this gives them the ability to do is go on, design it, see it in real time, and uh, find out if that's exactly what they want. So uh, can I design one? Absolutely. What I want to go for is like the old classic, like cowboy style, I'm feeling very Western, but with some flair. The old cowboy guns would have been a short cylinder. I think I kind of like the stainless on there, yeah. All right, I think this is my gun. 
When we get back, we head to the machine shop and get our hands dirty. Ah! And possibly our clothes, too. We do the design and the engineering all in-house. The components, the material, everything is designed, and then we move into production. So typically for our main components, they get machined. Once the designs are engineered, they're sent to Magnum Research's sister company, Pequot Tool and Manufacturing, where Ryan Lapka oversees operations. Magnum Research will send us a solid and prints of their part that will then go through our engineering department. They'll use that solid to create a CAM program for the CNC machines that do the milling. Once the program is set, it's time to get to work. We're about to mill the chambers. We're here with Chris, and one of his many jobs is to turn this cylinder into this. Let's see how it's done. All right, Chris, how do we turn this thing into this? First, we load up the fixture. There's a little tiny notch just to give me a heads up about where stuff is supposed to go. Can I do the last one? You bet. If I don't mess it up? All right. So this goes towards the seven? Uh, yep. Just like that, all right. What you're doing is aligning the little locking lugs so that they're all rotated exactly the same way so that the holes line up with those notches so that it lines up the correct way. So this seems like a pretty important step, making sure everything's lined up perfectly. That's in there. probably the most important sure. step. And that's about it. Then we just send it away and the machine does its thing. Now that the chamber is milled, it's time to work on the grip frame. Magnum drop ships the castings to us. They get received in, in our uh, shipping department. They come out to the warehouse where we tag them for the ID to keep track of them. They go directly to Leroy and that's where the machining starts. We're here with Leroy and we're about to machine the grip handle. There it is. Leroy, tell us about the process. It's gonna machine this surface and the, the, the surface, and it's gonna put, then it's gonna rotate, and it's gonna put these holes in these counterbore holes, then it rotates again, and it's gonna put these holes in here, and that's basically it. So we're about to bring the first pallet out and send the second pallet in, and Leroy's decided to let me press buttons, so we're gonna send it. Okay, go ahead and blow them. Ah! Okay. All right, and the more you, you, you might want to try get used to how much, uh, there you go. You're gonna break that nut loose with that wrench. Now take this air tool, you want reverse right now. Bring them all the way out. Then I gotta deburr them, of course, while I'm going through. You wanna try using this? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, this turns it on. All right, so okay. this one first. Yep. There you go. Looks very soon. All right. We'll turn it off here. There we go. So this grip has been machined completely and is ready to be shipped out. The employees of Pequot Tool and Manufacturing take pride in what they do, and it shows in their work. You know, we have a motto here, one of our core values is QSP, quality service profit. You're not gonna make any money and you can't service your customers with their parts if you don't make a quality part to begin with. Next, we head back to Magnum Research where our BFR starts to take shape. With the parts milled, we're back at Magnum Research to meet up with Jim Turteen's right-hand man, Brent Pakula. I was mowing fairways 18 years ago and uh, Jim was looking for somebody and my uncle told me about him so I kept hounding him and hounding him and hounding him and he finally gave me a job interview and <laughs> the first day I showed up for my interview 
I sat down in one of his lawn chairs and just collapsed it. I looked at him and said, I don't get the job, do I? And he said, well, we haven't even talked yet, so. And uh, the next day he called and called and hired me and I've been here ever since. Brett must have made quite the impression because he's had his hand on every single BFR that's gone out the door. All right, we're back at Magnum Research. We've got our grit frame and our frame from Pequot Tool and Manufacturing. I'm here with Brett, the production manager. Before these get assembled, what needs to happen? Well, listen, we have to polish each one individually. So we'll polish the grip frame and the frame. four different stations here for polishing. Is it getting finer or is it a different shape for different parts? It is, it, it gets finer as we go. So we'll start off with a, a coarser belt, uh, take off more material, and then we'll go down to a flat brush, which will give us that nice satin finish at the end. Now it's time for me to give it a spin. First thing we do is we're gonna polish the bottom right here where the serial number is. So come in just like this, and bring it down, and it down. And it down. See if I've got the touch here. Do I want to angle it kind of down or really so just flat? Tilt it like that, yep. Just like that? And then come in. And down. Harder like than that? that? Yeah, you'll have to go harder. Harder? But you can turn it a little bit more okay. in that corner. Just use the edge of that belt. school shop teacher would be so proud. <laughs> Mr. Paulson, look at me now. <laughs> Once the parts are shined up, they're marked with the laser before going back into Brett's hands. Our main cylinder housing, our frame, gets laser engraved then with Magnum Research name, uh, the location, and then the serial number. It's time to assemble. Brett has built close to 25,000 revolvers. Cylinder frame, grip frame, everything is fit to that gun. So it's not just, you don't just grab a set of parts and drop them in. Everything has to be fitted internally and externally. You can definitely tell by handling it how solid of a design it is and how well they're put together. I mean, Brett doesn't let the slightest imperfection go out of the shop, so everyone you're handling is basically a custom. Once the BFR is hand assembled, Brett heads into the firing booth to ensure that his work is spot on. Every firearm that runs through our facility gets test fired. So the BFR being a five shot revolver, we test a single round in each revolver. If I wouldn't buy it myself, I won't sell it. So it won't go out the door unless I would own it myself. And that's why our quality standards are so high and that's why everybody loves them. Up next, it's my moment to show the guys at Magnum Research what I'm made of. You're not gonna wanna miss this. To the people of Magnum Research, manufacturing guns is more than a job, it's a passion. I went to college, I received a degree in gunsmithing, and that's all I've ever done. I've never had another job. Every day is different, and custom making custom guns is by far the funnest, but it's not really a job. I mean, we come to work, we have fun, we want everybody to have fun at work, and we, we make guns all day. I mean, it's the greatest job there is. What's more fun than getting to enjoy your own work? Now it's my turn to give the BFR a shot on the range. All right, Joby, the moment we've all been waiting for, we've been talking about the BFR, now we finally get to fire it. Before we get started, maybe a refresher on some gun safety rules. Sure, uh, what we wanna do is treat every gun as if it's loaded. 
Uh, always keep them pointed in a safe direction and then keep your finger out of the trigger group until you're ready to fire. All right, so we're gonna pick our caliber. And so we'll pick it up. We've got the gate open. Again, these are single action only. So to fire these, you have to manually cock the hammer. The cylinder free spins. So we'll drop the rounds in one by one. They're five shot cylinders. Uh, once you're loaded, we can close the gate. We can turn down to our range. And then when we're ready to fire, we can make sure everything's, everybody's in a safe direction, finger out of the trigger group. Uh, when we're ready to fire, we've got our target acquired. We can cock and get ready to shoot. Awesome. Let's do it. All right, so get your primary hand nice and comfortable on that. Mm -hmm. uh, your secondary hand, uh, you can cup underneath. Okay. if that's what's most comfortable for you. Yep. Uh, one thing we want to be sure of is to keep everything behind that barrel cylinder gap window. There's going to be a knife blade of air coming out of that uh, due to the expanding gases of the cartridge firing. You may have to use your left hand to cock the hammer. shot. <laughs> yeah, baby. I think I'm having a little cowboy moment right now. Three for three. pretty well. <laughs> Beginner's luck, baby. All right. That was the first take, by the way. <laughs> Reset. Boom. I didn't mention anything, but that was actually the first time I've shot a revolver. That was very, very good. Starting off with a 50 caliber revolver as well. So. I passed the nice test. Work. Yeah. All right, right on. Well, let's do awesome. some more shooting. We're switching over to a 3030 Winchester, which is a, a rifle caliber. Uh, and this is in our long frame that we designed around these larger calibers. Heavy. Yeah, heavy. <laughs> like, ooh, it's gonna be a workout holding it up, but I think it'll be worth it. Beginner's luck or channeling my inner cowboy. Either way, the BFR revolver is a whole lot of fun to shoot. The Magnum Research and Pequot Tool are known for producing quality products like the BFR. If you get a chance to visit them, it's the quality of the people that you'll remember. We have fantastic employees. And they enjoy their job, and they do a good job.